expand log thousand. So, so to expand the value of log thousand, you can take base ten. Otherwise, you can do directly. So first, thousand for thousand, find the prime factorization. That is two times five hundred, two times two fifty, two times one twenty five. Next with five table, five times twenty five, five times five. So for thousand we can write as log two power three into five power three. Two power three into five power three. Now here log a b, log a b, logarithm of product log a b to the base x is log a to the base x plus log b to the base. X. If it is C, you can write plus log C to the base X. So here log two cube. You can take base ten or otherwise to the base ten plus log five cube to the base ten. Base ten is like standard. Now this two are in the form of logarithm of power. Log a power m to the base X equals m log a. To the base x, so here three log two to the base ten plus here power is three, so three log five to the base ten. So if you want, you can take common in both the terms. That is three, three times log two to the base ten plus log five to the base ten. This is the answer. Expand log one twenty eight log one twenty eight by six twenty five. You can take the base as ten. So it is in the form of log a by b. So log logarithm of quotient log a by b to the base x is nothing but log a to the base x minus log b to the base x. So here, in place of a, we have one twenty eight. In place of b, six twenty five. So you can write log one twenty eight to the base ten minus log six twenty five to the base ten. See, base ten is a standard Briggs logarithm. So you can take if they didn't give the base, so you can take the base as ten. Now find the prime factors of one twenty eight and six twenty five. So one twenty eight first if you do like two times sixty four, two times thirty two, two times sixteen, two times eight, two times four, two times two. So one twenty eight you can write as two power seven to the base ten minus log six twenty five, five times one twenty five, five times twenty five. Five times five, so six twenty-five. You can write as five power four to the base ten. Now these two terms are in the form of like logarithm of power. There is like formula like log a power m to the base x equals m log a to the base x. So here in place of m we have seven and four. So seven log two to the base ten. Minus four log five to the base ten. So this is the answer. Expand log x square y cube z power four. So here it is in the form of log a b c logarithm of product log a b c to the base x. Here when they not give the base, you can take the base as ten. So log a b c to the base x, you can take it log a to the base x plus log b to the base x plus log c to the base x. So here, if we apply that formula, like log logarithm of product, log x square to the base ten, log y cube to the base ten, log z power four to the base ten. Now it is in the form of logarithm of power. Log a to the power of m to the base x equals m log a to the base x. Here in place of m we have two. Here in place of m we have three. Here four. So m log a to the base x. So here two 
log x to the base 10 3 log y to the base 10 4 log z to the base 10 this is the expanded form of log x square y cube z power 4 expand log p square q cube by r so log p square q cube by r so first we'll use logarithm of quotient that is log a by b to the base x log a by b to the base x is log a to the base x minus log b to the base x so we'll consider these two together so log p square q cube minus log r because a by b you can take base 10 Fine. now this is in the form of log a b so logarithm of product log a b to the base x is log a to the base x plus log b to the base x now here you can write log p square to the base 10 plus log q cube to the base 10 minus log r to the base 10 now these two terms are like you can apply logarithm of power log a to the power of m to the base x equals m log a to the base x so here in place of m we have 2 so 2 log p to the base 10 here 3 log q to the base 10 minus log r to the base expand log under root x cube by y square you can take the base as 10 standard base you can take it as 10 so this is log x cube by y square whole power if we take out the root whole power 1 by 2 to the base 10 now you can write this 1 by 2 as logarithm of power log a power m to the base x equals m log a to the base x so you'll get here 1 by 2 log x cube by y square so now log x cube by y square here you can use logarithm of like quotient log a by b to the base x that is nothing but log a to the base x minus log b to the base x half here you can log x cube minus log y square so next step you can write like half this is again you can use logarithm of power you can take base as 10 logarithm of power see x cube so 3 log x to the base 10 minus 2 log y to the base 10 in this way you can write the form or otherwise you can multiply so 3 by 2 half into 3 3 by 2 log x to the base 10 minus 2 by 2 that is 1 log y to the base 10 or this is the answer or this you can write or you can do this in another way here see after this step you can write log x power 3 by 2 by y power 2 by 2 to the base 10 x power 3 by 2 log x power 3 by 2 by y 2 by 2 will get cancelled will get by y now apply logarithm of equation so you'll get like log x power 3 by 2 to the base 10 minus log y to the base 10 or now apply logarithm of power so 3 by 2 log x to the base 10 minus log y to the base 10 so in this way you can expand log under root x cube by y square